Hey everyone, it's PJ. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the method I used for cutting objects in Tinkercad. A lot of people like Tinkercad because of its basic, simplistic design and how simple it is to make things in. But the one thing I constantly see in a lot of forums and whatnot is people talking about its nagging lack of a physical cutting tool to separate two objects. Now there are ways of doing this, and I'll quickly demonstrate right here. So let's just say you had this big block and you wanted to cut this in half because it either didn't fit on your printer or you needed to modify it in some way. The standard way of doing this in Tinkercad would be to take a hollow object and drag it over, then uh, cutting it like that. But as you can see here, then if you needed to do something with the other half of this object, it, you would basically have to clone it and then do the process twice. What I'm going to show you is a simpler method of using a cutting tool for the free to use program called Flashprint. Flashprint is made by Flashforge, which is a 3D printer company, and they have their own separate slicer for actually importing your designs in and then getting the G code out for your printer. What I'm going to show you is how you can use that as just a designated cutting tool, and it's what I use to actually cut the objects I design inside Tinkercad. So here's the website itself that you will go to, to actually download the software. So you go to flashforge.com. I'll have a link below. You go to the software section, and you'll find Flashprint 3D printing so 3D printing slicing software. Download, and we're going to find right here flash print download highlight that and you're just going to download the latest version uh, Linux 32 so it supports a wide range of operating systems make sure you download the appropriate one for your system I have Windows 64 bit I already have it installed on my computer so I'm just going to skip the installation process because it's very simple and we'll skip over to the software now so here is Flashprint itself. I don't actually use it that much outside of the slicing because I don't have a Flashforge printer. But basically what you're going to do is, is go up to File, Load File, up here, or you can press Control o if you're into using keyboard shortcuts for this kind of stuff. But you're just going to import the file. I'm just going to import the block that we had in uh, Tinkercad earlier. I'm going to center it using the moving tool, then go down to the cutting tool, and then click on it again. And then now you have four options. You can either draw the cut with your mouse, have it, or it'll pre-align it on the x-axis, so you have a nice clean cut there. On the y-axis, that kind of looks like a don't enter sign, and then the z-axis. <laughs> Just for a little bit of fun, I'm going to use the draw with your mouse, and I'm just going to do a diagonal cut like that. And then you could just go ahead and press Start Cut, and then you're going to go back to the Move tool and separate the two parts. Separating the two parts inside of here is very important. Now we're going to go back up to File and hit Save As. Now, if you exported it just like this, it would not export properly because the file type would be incorrect for Tinkercad itself to re-import it. So instead of saving it as .fpp.stl.obj.3mf, we're going to click on the file type and select the bottom, which is just .stl.obj.3mf. Going to go ahead and rename it. So we're just going to name it demo and then save it. And then we can go back to Tinkercad and we'll just go ahead and delete this. Import, choose a file, desktop, and then the file and import it. And there we go, here is the block that we cut. And now here's the one step that is very important. The reason you want to separate these two is because they are one solid object inside of Tinkercad. And the way to fix this is by importing a second one. So you're going to choose a file and just import the same thing over again right here. And I'm going to align them like this. And then we're going to take the box feature and then just cover the entire area that we want to remove from the print highlight everything and then group 
Or, don't do it that way. Haha. <laughs> you are going to do it like this. You're going to separate the pieces one at a time. So you're going to go ahead and cut these two to remove that block there. And then just repeat the same process here. And now we have two pieces cut in half. Some people may argue that there's easier ways to do this, but considering this is a free program, I did try Mesh Mixer, which is also made by Auto, uh, Autodesk, but I could never get that program to work properly. It always took forever to load, and then things wouldn't even load properly then. And I would just say this is the easiest way to cut things inside Tinkercad because it's a free, easy to use piece of software. And if you guys have any questions on using this method, you can leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. As I said before, there will be links to download Flashprint in the description of the video. And I'll see you all next time. More content coming soon. Bye.